Hi, this is Clean Nuts. We've got a 2013 Polo with amber lights. We want to go from this to this. So we're changing the bowl. To do that, we need to remove the headlight. And to remove the headlight, we need to remove this screw and this screw. Let's get them out. We're using a Torx driver to remove the screws. We have to remove this pigtail, which is a power supply to the headlight. Simple as that. Theoretically, now the, the headlamp should just pop out, but it doesn't. It needs a good tug. And there it is, it's free. To access where the headlamp bulb is, you need to remove these two spring clips. There's one, and there's two. And inside is the bulb. There's three connections. Let's pull that plug off. Now let's remove the bulb. It's held in by a little spring clip. Just unhooks and then lifts out. And remember, don't touch the glass with your fingers. On the left is the new, on the right is the old. If you notice here, the clip holds the bulb in. We'll just unclip it. Now we're going to come back to this because the bulbs that we fit, the clip doesn't fit them. But it does if you know the trick. There's heat sink on the back. And as you try to fit it, the clip won't go over it. You see? So what you do... You take the, the supporting ring off and fit the supporting ring first. Like that, and put the clip back on over that without the bulb in. Then we can insert the bulb. And it's on two lugs. It simply rotates in. Then we connect the three connector point plug we're ready to reinstall the headlight. I should put the waterproof cover back on. Clip one, on. Clip two, on. And reinsert the headlamp. Reattach the two screws and the pigtail. Don't forget to put the pigtail in. What a difference! On the left is a new LED, on the right is a halogen. Very pleased so far. Here's a moment of truth. Let's get some main beam on. Ah, my eyes. So that's dip beam. That's full beam. We were testing the beam pattern. We realized the right hand side dip one beam. was upside down. Full beam. Here's the halogen pattern from the original lines. Now, as you saw on the wall when we tested it, we had it 180 degrees out of sync, so it was upside down. So we're going to remove it, rotate it 180 degrees, and reinsert it. Bingo. So let's test it. There's dip beam, and there's main beam. So now we've corrected the inversion of the bulb, we're ready to roll. Let's witness the power of LEDs. Oh yes. Project Light. It's a hit. See you boys.